Hey guys, it's me, Minar, and I randomly felt like making a video. Um, I'm going to tell you three random things. Hopefully it won't be too long. First random thing. My mom bought me this pillow today. Can... Okay, yeah. I hope you were able to see that. And it is very exciting to me because... I really like orange, like not not all orange, just bright orange. It's my favorite color. Like, I especially like it on apparel type things. And I know a pillow's not apparel, but it's kind of like apparel for your bed. Your bed wears it. But anyway, yes. So I really like bright orange, and I'm so excited that my mom got me this pillow. And it's exciting for other reasons. Like I find the randomest things just so much more exciting. Like the fact that it's hypoallergenic. Like, I looked at it, and I was so excited. I was like, yes! Bright orange pillow! I love it! And then I looked at the tag, and I was like, and it's hypoallergenic? <gasps> that just brought this to a whole new level of awesome! To uh, corroborate my story about liking bright orange apparel, this is, like, my favorite article of clothing ever, because it's a bright orange sweater. My favorite purse, which is this really bright orange and I love it a lot. Okay, anyway, so first random thing done. If you're still watching, cool. I probably should have started with a more interesting random thing, like my next random thing, which is my pencil bag, which I can't believe that I have never shown you guys because I have this pencil bag, okay? It was a blank pencil bag and I took like a like marker thing and I, um, and I annotated it sort of, I, well, I didn't really annotate it so much as copy down a passage from Looking for Alaska. It's the part where they have the freestyle contest at the barn. So it's like, it goes, no, okay, sorry. Here, and then like it continues onto here, and then it goes on to the back until I have like the entire freestyle. Okay, and then here it has, like, some of my favorite quotes from the book. <laughs> the best pranksters ever exist. Like, here. Um, Sometimes you lose a battle, but mischief always wins the war. From Alaska. And then, God will punish the wicked, and before he does, we will. From the colonel. And just, you know, stuff. So that's my pencil bag. Um, which is really awesome, and I love it. So, uh, you can stop watching now, because I'm sure that at this point I've gone on for a while, and I completely, completely understand if you don't want to watch the rest. And part of the reason that I'm saying that, maybe, is because of the third random thing. It's kind of really weird thing about me. Kind of. This is going to take a while to explain. The third random thing is that I really like water balloons. I just like water balloons. But yeah, in a weird way. Not in a fetishy way, but in a weird way for sure. Because I... Okay, so my 14th birthday party, it was... My birthday's in the summer, and... I thought that we could maybe have a water balloon fight. So I went out and I got a bunch of water balloons and my 14th birthday, by the way, was almost two years ago. And I got a bunch of water balloons. And we didn't really have a water balloon fight. So I just had kind of had a bunch of leftover water balloons. Like not a whole lot, but I mean, I still have like this packet and this packet and um, this packet. And they each contained 36. I've, I've actually used some from each. But, I mean, I still have a, a good amount of water balloons. And so, you know, one day, I just kind of saw them sitting there. And I was like, hmm, when am I ever going to get rid of those? Um, I have a lot, and I really like water balloons, so why don't I just you know, fill one up. So I just kind of filled one up in my in my bathroom sink and, you know, like, paced around my bathroom, tossing it from hand to hand. 
um, because there was really nothing to do with it. I didn't want to, like, throw it and make a mess. And so, you know, I just kind of left it next to my sink. And then I kind of started occasionally just filling up water balloons and placing them almost decoratively around my sink. I mean, just one or two at a time. And if you if you know me a little bit, then you know that my parents' bedroom is really close to mine, like really close, close enough where if I'm in the bedroom part of my bedroom, because my bathroom's inside my bedroom, they can hear everything I say. So if I ever talk on the phone or on Skype or whatever, I'll either come in here in my bathroom, and also to vlog, obviously, that's why I always make my videos in my bathroom. I'll come in here or my closet, but usually here just because it's roomier. And, um, and so, you know, like, whenever I talk on the phone or whatever, I'm just sitting here and toss them, like, from hand to hand. It says something to do with my hands. And then one day I got a new Sharpie, and, you know, like, when you have a new Sharpie, you just want to write with it. You don't want to just leave it be. So I, you know, I was like, what can I write with, you know, what can I write on it? And, and I was talking on the phone, so I was sitting in my bathroom, and I was holding my Sharpie because I brought it in here with me because I still hadn't written on anything because I just bought it, and then, like, a friend called me and, you know, whatever. So, you know, I was sitting in my bathroom, and I just saw a water balloon, and I was like, why don't I draw a face on that? Or, and then that kind of turned into a thing. You know, yeah. I mean, I don't do this all the time or anything, but I do sometimes just have water balloons, and I'll write on them. Like, I'll draw faces on them, or I'll just write on them a little bit, or both. And, um, I do, I do have some examples right now. Um, this water balloon... It says hug me on it because when I made it, I was feeling kind of lonely and hug me seems like an appropriate thing to write on a balloon when you're lonely. And you know, cause it's like, oh, now neither of us are lonely. And um, I, I was gonna draw like a lonely face on the other side, but I, got distracted, like I was busy, I had to do something else, and whenever I got, well, next went in my bathroom and saw it, I wasn't feeling lonely anymore, so I didn't really want to draw a lonely face on it, uh, but yeah, and then I have this one, which I did draw a face on, and, um, and on the back is his name, he's Alejandro, the second, the balloon, because it's not, a, it's um, a silly thing. One of my friends, um, he, like, I was talking to him on the phone once, and, um, and I was, you know, playing with water balloon, and it burst all over me in the middle of our conversation, so of course, when I suddenly yelped, I, I had to explain the whole thing, and he just thought that it was so funny, and so, we started calling them balloons instead of balloons because they make you lol, laugh out loud. Um, yeah, and the Alejandro the second part is because I made him one like this after that incident because, like, he thought it was really funny and it kind of became just like a joke between us. And it was named Alejandro because he's always says that he wishes his middle name was Alejandro because he thinks it would be a cool middle name. and. Yeah, and so I gave him Alejandro the Balloon, and this is Alejandro the Second, the Balloon. Okay, so these just sit kind of decoratively around my, around my sink, and yes, I know that I'm weird. Okay, well, even though I feel like it's a Friday, it's actually a Thursday and I have school tomorrow, so I guess I have to do homework and stuff. Um, if you actually watched to the end, um, congratulations. I'm impressed with you. Please don't stop being my friend. Yeah, okay, bye. <laughs>